Hey guys, welcome back to another Redbeard Outdoors episode. It's day one of the Irish Center National Championship, and we have 23 entries in this championship, so it's actually going to be a long two day event. And we have uh, our Quantanus team that um, will be filming a lot of dogs in, in this uh, championship. Quick weather update it's about 28 degrees right now. Um, the high today at like three is 50. Uh, yesterday and last night it, it rained a lot. We've probably gotten a total of three inches. So the course is gonna be really wet and it's gonna be really cold. So hopefully, I usually have this problem, but hopefully my lens doesn't fog up too much on you guys. So sorry in advance if my lens fogs up. Stay tuned, hope you guys enjoyed this. Feel free to leave me any comments down below if you have any questions, I'll try to get those answered. And let's do this. Let's see if we can go win some championships. Let's go. This cross isn't doing so good. I'm going to have to come clean this up. There's more. There's more. There's a lot more. Oh god. Oh, there's like. Yeah. There's 60. There's 60 of them. <laughs> Did you count them all that quick? No, no give me a minute. I got them. Okay. Good boy. Mark has water. It's okay. He doesn't. Take him to the road. How far do they fly? Not far. Kelly saw a single bird get up right here, but unfortunately the judges did not, so she flushed for a while, hoping another one would be in there, but it wasn't, so we had to take a non-productive right here. I turned my camera on too late, but Griffin went on point down this tree line here, and then a covey of uh, about 30 flew out, and... It was right at time, judges had called time, and he was pointing before time. And luckily they saw the birds fly from a distance, and uh, he finished with a productive bird find right here. Thank you, sir. Day two, guys. 30 degrees, feels like 25. Frost all over the ground, this is probably the coldest Morning I've experienced at Boonville. The problem with this, we got Delta up in the first brace. Birds are gonna be hunkered down, they're not gonna be out yet. So we're gonna have to find them in their covey, staying warm somewhere deep in some brush. So this should be an interesting brace.
Rock is in the middle of what we like to call the island, and it's really, really thick in there, and the handler has to work this area over quite a bit, but ends up taking a non-productive break here. Mid trial update for you. It's pretty thick out there and not as well maintained as it usually is. So it's making uh, conditions a lot harder than they normally are. The birds are there. It's just uh, they have a lot of cover, a lot of protection, and uh, you know, hunker down pretty well. So we're having very minimal bird work. For the most part but when we do have it they're really big coveys i'm up next with neo uh, this will be the first time i've ever handled in a championship i'm a little nervous i'm not really expecting a whole lot but um, i do want to make it around the full hour that's that's my major goal right now so hopefully we can get that done and also it'd be nice if we had bird work so we'll see how that goes and then uh reasons up later on last brace of the day so also trying to get championship on her neo did great the first uh, about 30 minutes and she ran pretty well but then she started to get bored because uh, we weren't finding birds. That feel good. Okay. Okay. Yo. So, unfortunately, I made it to the 58-minute mark and ended up picking her up. Um, it wasn't quite the hour, but I was happy for the way things panned out and, and not being able to find birds. I was happy with what I got out of it for the most part. Just to recap what happened here, Kelly said, it looks like the birds have left. I'm going to move her on. So what Kelly's doing right here is she thinks Reason pointed some birds right here. And the birds already flew before we got there. She's been standing for a while. 
And so she collars her right here, and we bring her over to the road and give her some water. That's all I got for some reason. That's okay. Ooh, what happened? Um, the, she looked, looked like she had to stop to flush her. They were gone. She was standing, but I suspect the bird's left. So I just collared her. Bird's up. She's in the middle there. She's right there. Kelly was cautioning reason around what we call a island. It's a group of trees and bushes that uh, are really thick and we need to be careful around. And as you saw, uh, luckily it paid off and reason had to stop the flush right there. I needed three more steps. What? I needed three more steps. I'm sorry. I, I couldn't see her. No, no, I couldn't. I don't see her I felt the need to uh, show this entire flush right here, and that's why um, you're seeing so much of it. Kelly stomped around in like six to eight foot of brush over there and looking for a bird, and Reason stands pretty solid through the whole thing. It's pretty awesome to watch.
Yeah, I'm pretty bored, you know. <laughs> Cocktail hour. Burr hour. Burr hour. Oh god, I'm covered. It itches. On your face. Thank you guys. I want to thank you all for coming to the trial. Thank you all for participating. Those of you that have helped out. Where's Rice? Is Rice in here? Well, they went to the dogs. Yeah, we need to okay. thank you. Man. Thank him for handling the dog wagon. Without that, we really would have a problem. So thanks, Rice. Thank Vicki for all that she does for helping oh, us out. Man. Behind the scenes. <laughs> Thanks, Ziggy, for helping us out with the rental horses. Thanks, Zig. Thank Everybody that marshaled. Thank you, uh, Tony, Mark, Mark Chestnut. Is he here? Yeah, yep, right here. there. Okay. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, I want to thank Karina for sponsoring this event and Sport Dog also for all they do for us. Thank you. Thank our judges for riding with us. Mr. Dennis Sneed. Dennis, will you stand up for everybody? <laughs> okay, uh, without further ado. Place. In fourth place, Gonzo with Gonzo.
Thank you so much for those of you who made it to the end of this video to witness Reason's first horseback championship at almost the age of nine. It was really enjoyable riding Tara these past few weeks where she was on her recovery from EPM, but unfortunately we lose her in nine days from when this video was shot due to cancer. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. Feel free to share it with your friends and make sure to subscribe. You'll be doing me a huge favor if you can do all those for me. As always, get outdoors and keep field trialing. I'll catch you guys on the next episode.